Hello and welcome back to the Coders Legacy channel. In today's video, we're going to explore how to create draggable annotations in Matplotlib. So an annotation is basically a piece of supporting text that helps the viewer, the one looking at your graph, better understand what's going on. So if your graph's a bit complicated, you're gonna be wanting to use annotations to annotate the highlighted or important points in your graph. Okay, so normally these annotations are static. You can't really interact with them or move them, but there is a feature in Matplotlib that many people don't know about that can actually make these annotations interactable. You can actually move them with your mouse cursor. And this may or may not be helpful to you when explaining or showcasing your graphs. So let's explore how to enable this feature. So the first thing we need to do actually is create an annotation, okay, a normal annotation. So let's just review how to do that real quick. So I'm just gonna call it my annotation, okay. Then XY, XY is basically the point of interest that you want to annotate. So I'm gonna pick uh, this, this point just randomly where X is equal to three and Y is equal to six, okay. Now, then there's XY text. This is the point where I want the annotation text to show up. So I'm just gonna pick a point that's close to this coordinate, okay? Maybe a little bit below it, all right? So let's run this and see what we get. Okay, so there's our annotation. Let's put it a bit lower. Okay, this requires a bit of manual tweaking. This should be fine. Okay, there it is. Now, let's make this a bit better, or let's keep it like that, 2.5. Now, I'm gonna add in some coloring, okay? And not sure why it's like that. Intelligence being weird. All right, so I'm gonna pass in face color. This is gonna make it look a lot nicer, right? And there we go, see? So let's actually focus on how to make this draggable. Now we need to store the return object. So A1, let's just call it that. Then on this object, we're going to call the draggable method, okay? That's all we have to do. Now let's run this code. And now you can see we can move this around, see? Pretty cool, right? Now, I'm also gonna show you how to create an arrow. I would normally not use arrow props with the draggable feature, and I'll show you why in a minute. Face color, red. Okay, so uh, see the, the arrow is pointing to that location. That's the X, Y co coordinate that we passed. Now, I would normally not do this. I mean, it depends on your use case because, um, well, it really depends on your use case, honestly. If you want to take this text around and maybe move it around and assign it to other points, then you would not want to keep the arrow. So yeah, just do what you want. So that's pretty much it. There wasn't really much to discuss. If you guys wanna see other customizations and stuff that you can do with annotations, I have a whole video on that because there's a whole, a whole list of different customizations that you can do with annotations. I'll have that link too in the description below, right? See you guys in the next video.